scrolling on Twitter a few days ago and I saw this video of this stupid kick streamer who was doing this. Excuse me, can I ask you a question for an interview? Uh, sure, what's up? Alright, ready? Crystal. Crystal. Oh, okay. Crystal, what's the most traumatic event that you went through in your life? That's a hard one. <laughs> I've been through a lot. Um, I would say probably uh, when my mom threw a lot of shit around in the apartment and just broke a lot of stuff. Womp, womp. Yeah. Yes. Another one? Uh. His name is Little Mixy. He's the one who mocked this person's trauma experience. And let's just say that he had it coming. Uh, can, can I know like your most? Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Christopher. I'm not shaking your hand. Oh. What's my most traumatic experience? I don't know, but I know what yours is. Suck my dick. Fuck your motherfucking dead. Now, Goop Videos has a YouTube channel with 35.7k subscribers and he has a friend named Crystal who you all saw in this video earlier on getting mocked by this dude. So he pays little Mixie and the, his camera guy a visit to get revenge by punching the camera and I say good for him because well these types of creators are the scum of the barrel and I hate seeing content like this every time when they mock someone else's experience whether it be trauma experience or a suicidal experience I hate seeing people get mocked for it like it isn't something to laugh at now here's another clip of good videos being followed by the same streamer who followed him all the way to a GameStop store what if I just punch you what? I should just punch you right now. You just pulled your ass out in front of a five-year-old. You fucking pedo. Dude, I ain't no pedo. I was Fuck you took him out. You, you a fucking weirdo. Fuck you. Dude, fucking bitch. Shit, Fuck up, nigga. You a weirdo. You just pulled your ass out. You just pulled your ass out in front of a little kid. Shut the fuck up. And a five-year-old, nigga. I should punch you in your shit, you bitch. I now, from that clip that I saw on Twitter, I don't actually see an actual kid in GameStop. I truly think Little Mixie wanted to create attention when he said an unproven claim that Goop Videos mooned a child in front of him when he was actually mooning Mixie. So I don't get why Mixie, Little Mixie needed to lie when he's the one who started this in the first place. Now here's another video of Little Mixie fake crying and you'll see why in a moment, as he then defends his partner who filmed it. Please go, man. I didn't want to say that, I'm sorry. About the video that I made to you guys. It ruined everything, it ruined my whole perspective on streaming. And I honestly, I honestly didn't mean no harm. I saw a joke on TikTok and I just wanted to copy and I thought it was funny. But you guys are rolling me, you guys are sending me death threats and everything. <laughs> Instead of putting my own mom's in the video, my own dad, and they're fucking annoying. They're fucking like telling me to apologize. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry. I just want to say to everybody out there, I'm part of Goop Nation. I'm part of Goop Nation and I'm sorry. <laughs> Please stop, please, please. Womp, womp. Y'all think I give a fuck? That pedal put his ass out in front of a 12 year old and a five year old. On top of that, my cameraman had nothing to do with it. He's only 12 and he sat there and still attacked him. The fuck? He sat there and still smacked the camera out of a 12 year old, ran away and put his ass out in front of the whole mall. And you don't have proof, so why should we believe you? And stop calling people a pedophile about proven claims. And now he's trying to play the victim? Get the fuck out of here. This all started because I said womp womp. I don't care.
Nobody harassed him and nobody followed him around. We asked his girlfriend if we could get her on video and she was fine with it. Only until you said this about her traumatic experience. That's a hard one. I've been through a lot. Um, I would say probably uh, when my mom threw a lot of shit around in the apartment and just broke a lot of stuff. Womp, womp. Yeah. Yes. Another one? Uh, so don't be telling me that she's fine with it until you mocked her traumatic experience by simply saying womp womp and call it a day. She did not have to answer the question at all. So womp womp. This generation is so fucking pussy. Grow the fuck up and take some fucking jokes. Or hear me out. Grow the fuck up. And act your age. Because you can't fucking joke about trauma like that that's the fucking issue you brain dead retard nobody else in the mall cried sat there like a little bitch somebody else another female sat there and she laughed with us because it was fucking funny grow the fuck up no she was being sarcastic watch um the most traumatic thing that ever happened to me when I was about eight years old, my grandmother thought that it was a good idea as punishment because I wouldn't sit in timeout to sit on my chest until I stopped. Womp womp. Thanks, brother. Usually people are like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I hate that stuff. So again, no, she didn't find it funny. She gave a sarcastic tone for a reason. You can tell that she gave one because she was actually irritated so she was showing her irritation towards this guy that's what sarcasm actually is but then again we have dumb motherfuckers like him who cannot tell the difference because they weren't educated enough in school and this right here proves that because little mixie keeps liking comments that are in fact actually directed towards him and his streaming career because he made streaming a hellhole. Like, did he like the comments because he think it's funny? Because it's not funny. It isn't. Like, you're being called, insulted too. Like, I know how he couldn't see that. But I guess he just likes the comments because he thinks that everything is a joke these days and he doesn't actually see the opposite side of that of how it isn't a joke and that he's nearly gonna get death threats after death threats after death threats which i hope karma comes around and gets to little mixie for what he has done to multiple people because i'm not gonna lie that would be the shit that keeps on giving so i watched this video the other day and, uh, well, I saw a comment that was Ben. It's from Good Videos himself, whose name is Ben, and he says that this guy is a college student, and he wants to know any information about him or know what college he goes to. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Lil McSee's name is actually Christopher, either, but if you know him, then you should read him to the college that he goes to and make sure they are highly aware of some of the most heinous stuff that little Mixie has done because the shit that he's doing online is pure degeneracy as well oh in this clip little Mixie responded to goop videos while his friend was defending Little Mixie live on Little Mixie's stream as they were reacting to the video itself and falsely claims that Goop Videos admitted to mooning a five-year-old. A probability or something. If he said he can't fight. Like, I don't know. And I mooned them. Like I pulled my pants down and showed them my, my butt cheeks. <laughs> he did not admit it. I'm going to go on record like saying that was not directed at the kid. I showed him my butt. Yo, that's great. <laughs> Yo, he yeah, did admit it to him. Yeah, yeah, he admitted yeah. to showing his ass to a five year old. Again, that is a lie. He actually said that he did not 
direct his but Mooney at the kid. It was towards you, not the five-year-olds that you claimed saw all of this. And if you have the proof, then why don't you post the whole thing? Like, did you actually see a five-year-old getting mooned? Did you actually film it? No. For someone who does the degenerate shit like this, you need to cut this fucking cringe mentality of being edgy. Because the way you do that type of content, people are going to be turned away from. Because you do something like this, not only that is inappropriate, but it's also very disgusting. But you don't care because you have over 1,736 followers. Plus, you don't deserve any followers on TikTok. Especially what you did here, which is very, 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 very gross. Ali, Insta. I mean, it's food, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit is fire, nigga. W2, yo, chat, some of the W's for W tuna fish. I ate some tuna fish. Why? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. See, you ate that cat food. That's not tuna fish. <laughs> the fact that you have no morals and no brain is why you are a degenerate kick streamer. You don't deserve the fame and the fortune that you desperately want. You make content that is shitty and cringy at best. You are the lamest excuse of a human being that ever existed. You are not a great entertainer. You're a toxic person. You don't deserve to have a college degree and you don't deserve to be in a college. You deserve to be living in the streets. You don't deserve a car or house. Because you deserve nothing. Now do our society a huge, huge favor and go back to streaming NBA 2K and only that. You have a much better chance losing the game. What the fuck? Yo! What the fuck is going- Bro! Oh my- Well- And it would be much better for you to grow an audience there. Oh. And one more thing for you. Stay off of his turf. Because you do not belong in a place, a neighborhood area, or a city where you're most likely not welcome to there because you only come over to people to antagonize them. That's why you mocked someone else's trauma experience. Please, never, ever make that type of content ever again.